All right, today is the uh, 7th of January, 2024. We're heading out early, early morning. Well, not that early. To Monkey Trail. And a very dangerous, very tough trail. I think we'll have to walk steps, a lot of steps. Well, I hear there is a 15-minute walk. So it's not too bad actually, but the uh, sun is shining and it's supposed to be a nice beach at the end and uh, it's actually about 10.30 or so. So leisurely we're going to maybe uh, catch some sun, catch some beach action, do a little bit of swimming. That's the only plan for today and then we'll see what happens. Alrighty. Well, we're taking a shortcut. If we only know where the shortcut is. But uh, hopefully, the shortcut does not turn out to be a long cut. I think maybe we cut across this parking lot with all this dangerous electrical system. Alrighty. Alrighty. We are at the beach and uh, we got some monkeys here doing some monkey things. Ah, this guy's standing straight up. <laughs> there's monkey on the beach and there's monkey all around this shrine here wow they're all around look at this so you gotta watch it they can take your hat they can take your camera they can take your phone they can do all kinds of things so just watch out when they come at you but they are probably about what, 20 monkeys around here, yeah. Whoa, this one just came, oh. Oh no, this guy's got some rubber thing. Not a good thing. Playing with some rubber thing, hope he doesn't eat it. Lots of monkeys here, that's for sure. Didn't need to do, go to the monkey temple. This guy's eating a piece of watermelon. Where? Oh, this guy here. Eating watermelon. Yep. That's a picture ticking. I reckon this is why they call this the monkey trail because it is the start of a sort of a trail with a like a foot bridge or boardwalk kind of thing and uh, right alongside the beach slash canal and uh, with monkeys on your left monkey on your right gotta watch for this guy oh, this guy's got a hold of a bag or something and there are little monkeys here Two little monkeys. Mm. And this little guy, or this big guy. But this is the most interesting of all. He's going through the bag. Say, like, wow, he's eating it like I would eat it. Ooh, the big guy is coming to pick up some crumbs. But he doesn't like it. All righty, let's walk. And he's, these guys are guarding the bridge here. So this is the monkey trail, basically a foot bridge slash boardwalk kind of a 
deal right alongside the bridge with, uh, quite a few tourists around it's a nice view but the canal kind of smells a little bit uh, so onward and upward So a pretty well built little bridge with monkeys along the side. Looking back at the beach, it looks nice. And today is looks like it's going to be hot. And then we go up, 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 and away. Oops, and. Uh, I guess we are going up and folks are already coming back. Yeah, looks quite a few steps going up. Yep, it's a long way up. On our way up there are gurney sex here to help you get a grip and all along the way you have some beach view except you do have a lot of uh, sounds from the long tail boats so that detracts a little bit from it but uh, other than that the view wise it is nice I believe we're almost at the top. It's supposed to be a 15 minute walk. Very dangerous. Be careful. We're almost there at the beach. Alrighty. Down, down, down we go. And then you have to register your name, your info, and all that in order to get to the beach. But the beach looks like it's, uh, it's not crowded. And it looks nice and clean which is bonus so this is monkey beach it's a uh, pretty nice and sand is fine actually here with a uh, good view except it is a little bit noisy um, other than that it's not too bad um, And we are surrounded, and that's why you have to come over the top. But there is a resort here, which is uh, kind of, uh, I don't know how they get here. But uh, there must be a road that comes in here, I guess. Oops, I didn't even turn it on when I was recording. Anyway, we just spent probably an hour here. And uh, it's a pretty nice beach. And the surrounding is an alcove where uh, there is a uh, the Santerra Grand Resort and I think to get in and out you have to take the boat maybe so uh, nice and peaceful not too many people at this beach I mean it's, it's not like it's uh, not crowded there's still a good crowd here but it's not overwhelming so and it's pretty nice Oh, the only little bit of downside is that you hear the constant droning of the long tail boat because their sound goes a far, far distance and it's non-stop. So you keep hearing that. But on that, it's really nice here. The view is nice. This is the end of the trail. Got, still got a lot of monkeys. People hanging around, taking pictures. So, 
Which way are we going? All right, let's go back this way. Monkey attraction. This is a this is the king. All right, night four again. Our last night in Ao Nang. We are out for food, and now we are go going to head to the Muslim street food to actually have just eat off the street food instead of sitting in a restaurant, which we have done for just about every meal here. So that would be kind of nice. And looks like all the stores are open tonight, so would be great. That's moody. Alrighty. So right in front of this mosque is the Muslim street food market. Looks like they're fully open today. Let's see. I'm looking forward to their fried chicken. We have a skewer, kebab, that kind of thing. All right, let's go. All right. Toot toot here. And then the Ao Nang Muslim Street. Let's have some Muslim food. So mango smoothie, no sugar. Watermelon smoothie, no sugar. Mango smoothie with lots of sugar. <laughs> and coconut? Lemon. Lemon? Yeah. With sugar, I bet. Because otherwise you can't drink it and uh, some kind of a drink with only sugar. <laughs> Papaya salad, grilled chicken, fried chicken, samosa, uh, chicken, skewer, and no alcohol allowed. So, no some mango sticky rice, have some roti, banana, roti, Nutella, and I think we've just about had it. Some shops have more uh, customers than others, some have lines, some doesn't. And all you need is a simple flat plate. Fine going. And these are uh, got a lot of different Nutella, got raisin, Milo, chocolate, sweet corn, banana, uh, egg, cheese, oil tong, coconut, cashew nuts, banana, and raisin. Banana and chocolate, banana and Milo, tuna and cheese and onion. Ooh, coconut and chocolate, banana and Nutella. That's probably good. Nutella and chocolate, sweet corn and cheese, banana and cheese, banana and foy thong. Don't know what's foy thong. So chopping up a coconut right there. Very efficiently, I may say. And he's the sh also the shake guy. And the papaya salad. The chicken was very good. The real meat. So I think uh, maybe I will go get something fried. Yes, 
Dico il giorno in cui ti ho detto che mi sono bruciata. Deep fried shrimp. No, 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 You don't need sugar, trust me. And, uh, ooh. I think they have uh, dragon fruit here. Ah, that's a lot of corn syrup, extra corn syrup. That is a ton of corn syrup. That's why you ask for no sugar. And then you have a grilled meat here, chicken satay, chicken satay, grilled beef satay, the fried chicken, mango, Nutella, and samosa. Alrighty. I think I've seen enough. I will decide to get probably one more thing. And then that's about it. But definitely smoothie with no sugar. The moss is actually lighted up. And right now it's, it's a call to prayer that just finished. And outside is the Muslim, our now Muslim street. So definitely come back again when we uh, bring others to this area. And then uh, over on the other side, uh, basically uh, clothing and snacks and stuff like that. So it's pretty good. Taking one last walk down the main street of Aonang. Everybody's uh, heading out back to Bangkok tomorrow. And. Uh, Look at all the motorbikes here. Would you believe most of these motorbikes are by tourists? For tourists? Well, I think the ladies want to buy some clothes, uh, beach wear. I don't know why, on the last day at the beach. Why on the last day of beach buy beach wear? Isn't that interesting? Oh well, mine is not to question why. So, uh, mainly this street is full of Pad Thai and uh, tourist uh, information, tour information kind of a thing, and massage. Oh, and plenty of clinics too, for some reason. Clinics and pharmacies, are also plentiful as well as uh, uh, cannabis cannabis shops well definitely lots of tourists no shortage of that here and it's only going to get get uh, to be more and more tourists as Thailand work out with different countries like China for visa free travel to encourage more to come so they will be coming so we try to book the hotel that we stayed in the, uh, in March and uh, they are beginning to be sold out pretty amazing that's two months away. And it says here, can use credit card and Ali Pay. So that's how you pay. 
so this is the place where they came for massage this afternoon pool body scrub and massage and outside of that is a tiny uh, laundromat kind of a place with some uh, washer dryer set out here that's full use of their space that's for sure traditional traditional Thai massage 250 for 16 minutes that's like uh, $8 7 8 dollars for an hour of traditional Thai massage uh, herbal oil massage is 600 office syndrome is 500 milky massage 400 aloe vera massage 400 facial massage 400 for 45 minutes body scrub body scrub and massage manicure 300 baht pedicure 300 wax hair leg half leg etc 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 so this is the place and they wash 50 per 1 kg express uh, in about 3 hours is 80 per kg so don't even have to do your own laundry well, I guess the lady uh, have not found anything worthy Fifi Island Hong Island Four Islands and you can do different activities ATVs shooting range and uh, horseback riding Thai cooking kayaking rock climbing fishing zip line elephant sanctuary body oh sorry rock climbing Tiger Cave Temple, Emerald Pool, Hot Spring, well, kayaking and rafting. So, lots of different things to do. You can spend quite a bit of time here, and there's all these people to help you make your dreams come true. And uh, looks like traffic is picking up at this Haonang uh, night mark. Well, Main Street and uh, see you have uh, one tour shop here one t-shirt place one uh, bag place eyeglasses and stuff and then you have another tour place and then you have a massage place so this is what it's like over here I mean on the other side if you look that's the orchid uh, Aonang Orchid restaurant there followed by a massage place followed by a tattoo place followed by a tailor a pharmacy and uh, Indian food here a bar and Indian food it's like yeah definitely uh, Ocean City times 10 here and the key here is that you have um, you have all these uh, activity during the day that is extremely convenient to do and is actually very reasonably priced. If you charter your own long tail boat, it's gonna cost you like sixty, seventy dollars, and it's gonna and you can go to uh, well between probably sixty and a. Uh, hundred dollars charter your own long tail boat for the day which is uh, six hours and then you can go to wherever and whenever so that's uh, extremely convenient and you can have six people eight people however many people I'm not sure but we've done it with two people and it's still a uh, rather economical way to just uh, you know have some activity for the day that's our now for you and it will be it is our last night here tomorrow first thing we head back to Bangkok goodbye crab uh, crabby our 
we will be back in March for a few days. It will be kind of fun to play tour guide for a little bit. <laughs>